Right, so you have a Shopify store and you want to be able to publish content like this with in-article images, inbound links, outbound links, in-article videos, bullet out words, uh, calls to action. You want to be able to have and populate your Shopify blog with content, right? Let's say this is your Shopify store and you have a blog associated with it and you won't, don't want to worry about the content you write or how you write it or when you publish it, right? You want to have it done automatically for you. And this tool, Journalist Cafe does it for you. I'm going to show you exactly how you can set this up. So again, you have a Shopify store, you don't want to bother and don't want to waste time with creating content, uh, finding images for the content, uh, developing tables of contents, finding internal links to link out to, maybe to link out to some of your products in the R in the blog content, linking out to external links, right? Adding images, all this takes a lot of time, even adding videos. So we're going to show you again exactly how to set up a automatic Shopify blog, right? Let's get into it. So first things first is you go to journalist.cafe, right? Pretty straightforward, log in, go to your dashboard, right? Again, before I show you, let me just show you again the quality of the articles. And there's a lot of customization you can do here on in terms of, of it. And we can generate articles in virtually any niche, right? Let's say you have a, a, um, a Shopify store that sells gardening products, you could do gardening, right? Let's say you have something that sells uh, rockets, you can do articles about rockets, right? Let's get, even show you one real, real quick. This one talks about rockets, right? Again, pretty straightforward. Now, how you do it is you first go to integrations, click new integration, click Shopify, right? There's a video in the description that has exactly a step-by-step -step on how to do this. So I won't show you. It is a step-by-step. -step. I'll link it down below, but it's pretty straightforward. Name your integration wherever you want. Add, a, add your shop name. You can just copy it from Shopify. Add your access token. Create your done, right? You can even watch this tutorial here. It's like two minutes and it'll show you exactly how to do it, right? This is step one. Just create your integration. Super quick, super straightforward. And then you just hit create, right? Again, super, super simple. If you have any questions, let me know, but most likely you won't because it's really that simple, right? Then you go to auto blogs, right? And this is where you're going to set up your auto blog again. So that journalist right here is linked to your Shopify blog. This is your Shopify blog, right? With your articles, like so. You have your blog with a bunch of articles, right? Associated, of course, with your Shopify store because the goal of the blog, I'm sure you know this, the goal of your Shopify blog is to have these articles rank on Google for individual keywords. And when people click, they read through the article and maybe they have a link to your product and they buy your product on the store. Or maybe the, that's a dollar sign. Or maybe the header of the blog is your Shopify store heading and has a call to action here so people that can buy your product. Or even in the article, you have a call to action, people that can buy your product. Again, the whole point of the blog is to get it to rank on Google for certain keywords, SEO the blog up to get people to buy your product, right? And journalists, what it does is you don't have to worry about any of this, right? Journalists will automatically generate, right? It will cre create the content for you, plus publish it for you on autopilot, right? You don't have to do a thing. Right. And this content is niche optimized as you optimized. Again, we'll add images, videos, internal links, external links. We can even link to your products, tables of contents, featured images. Uh, we'll add every single thing you need to make sure that the blog is high quality. Right. Again, you don't have to worry about a thing. So again, what you do is you click new auto blog. Right. And then you just name your auto blog. Let's do Shopify store. Well, this is our uh, gardening store. Right. Let's call it gardening store. Right. Then you go out and you select a preset. Now, what's this preset? Let's say we don't have one, so let's go out and create one. This and these seven steps is where you're gonna decide what type of content you're gonna be producing. So let's go over each one of these ones. They're quite simple, uh, but let's go over them, right? First one, of course, you set up your preset name. Let's do Shopify, Shopify gardening store, right? Now, there's three generations mode the business description, the specific titles, and the keyword based generation, right? These are all self-explanatory. The business description is all the content we're gonna generate as well as the images and all that will be based on a short description you write for us, right? Pretty straightforward. Specific titles is all the content for the articles we're gonna generate is gonna be based on titles you give it, right? Pretty straightforward. And finally, keyword base is you give us a bunch of keywords here and all the content that we're going to generate is going to be based on those keywords, right? And those, all those keywords are going to as well be sprinkled throughout your article. So in the headings, in the content, and this is the best way to make them quote unquote SEO optimized, right? So you can choose either one works great, right? 
And that's that, pretty simple. You can even test it out. Now, second tab, content. Again, you can produce content in 150 different languages. So if you have international Shopify stores, if you're targeting Spanish markets, Greek, uh, the rest of Europe, Asia, you can set this up and set up your blog in any language, right? Again, we'll do images, links, all this automatically for you. Let's just do English for now. Then you have here two settings, which will depend on how your brand is positioned. Right, the creativity one is if you want the articles to be written in a more factual, correct manner or more original, creative. Again, this will depend on how your brand is positioned. Then the tone of voice, this is again yet another, another feature that gives you that extra little control over your content, right? You can do informal, academic, a little bit sarcastic, you can even do fun or whatever you want, you can put in here, right? I'll recommend you test this out and I recommend you use these in accordance to your brand's, uh, how, you, how your brand is perceived by its users, right? Again, pretty straightforward, structure you can add calls to action, right? You can add here a call to action to your product right at the end or to your email list. If you're collecting emails, you can add a custom call to action to your blogs, right? Again, I have videos on all of these ones individually. I'll go over each one of these. So if you wanna know a bit more info on each one of these, I'll link it in the description. If I forget, go on this YouTube channel and you'll see a detailed overview of each one of these steps, right? So if you wanna know more about these, uh, do click on those videos. Then you can have Settings uh, manually generated. I do recommend you do automated, but you, again, if you have, have a bit more control, you can do ma them manually. Uh, then internal linking, this is where the fun begins. Again, like I said before, your articles are gonna automatically interlink, these are articles, between each other, right? In a way that makes sense. If this article talks about dogs, you will not link to an article talking about motorcycles, right? You will you only link in a contextual manner, right? If this article is about um, gardening tips, it will link to another article regarding uh, carrots, right? And the links are relevant between articles and relevance between anchor text. Anchor text is the little text you click that links you out to another article. So there's two types of relevancy here. It's the article relevancy and the anchor text relevancy. Again, the, the link you click to go out to the other article. Right, again, there's a video solely on how to set this up. It's pretty straightforward. And I'll go and go over in this right now, but again, you can check the description to learn how this is done. External linking, you can have this automatic, right? will scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language. So in your articles, you of course wanna have links to your products, right? But you also wanna have, for SEO purposes, links to authoritative sources in your space. So if your blog is in the finance niche, you might wanna link to Forbes, right? You might wanna link to Investopedia, right? These are what we call external links because they link to external sources, external authoritative sources outside of your site, right? Again, with a simple toggle, right? You can enable this or you can do it manually if you want. Uh, we'll script the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language. Again, all done for you. Images, you can set this up. You can choose Google license free stock photos or whatever you want. Uh, featured image, of course, in article images. Videos, you can set this up as well. We're going to add also a setting here that so that uh, you can add, uh, automate the video. So we'll scrape YouTube for relevant videos to your Shopify store, right? So we don't have to do anything. Right. Formatting, if you want to bold important keywords, you can do so, right? That's that. Then you can just create preset, right? Preset for now. I won't create this one because there's a bunch of info missing here. But again, you go to auto blogs where we just were just a second ago, new auto blog, select the preset you just created, right? Then you can set up how many articles you want a day. Do you want to post 300 articles a day to your blog? Maybe 200 articles a month, right? This will depend, of course, on how much output you want to do. If you're just starting out with your blog, I do recommend a at least minimum 10 every month or 10 every week, right? Depends on what your niche is and what your goal is. But again, you can choose your free will to choose whatever you want with this and then set up your integration with uh, Shopify. And yeah, then create a new auto blog, set it to live and you're done. That's literally how it works. If you have any questions, just hit, us, hit up support. There's a link to support here. And uh, yeah, that's essentially how you do it. Essentially, this is exactly how you can automate your Shopify store, right? Super, super powerful. You don't have to worry about content writing. You don't have to worry about anything, right? We do all that for you content creation and publishing. In the creation part, we get to the videos, we get to the internal links, we get to the external links, we get to the images, we get to the tables of content, we get you every single thing you need. So you just focus on growing your store while we focus on bringing in traffic through SEO and through the blog. That's it. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, before I do go, of course, I'll leave a link for this in the description of the video or in the pinned comment down below. Try it out. If you don't like it, let me know. If you do like it, you let me know as well. All right. I'll catch you soon. Thank you so much and uh, cheers.